5700 free video game music arrangements from every game you can think of, from Mario and Zelda to uh, Alicia Dragon, from, really all, from the popular to the obscure. Uh, and we also have on the site many, many free albums. We're going to talk about some of those later, some of the stuff that's coming up, some of the stuff we just released just a few days ago, uh, interviews with remixers and composers, and a uh, badass community of badass people, I guess. We'll leave that to you to judge. We're also on the Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. The tweeters. Yeah, and uh, we will be showing some of our wonderful YouTube videos produced by Mr. Jose Brock's Rican. So, as I mentioned, we have uh, we've been busy. So 2,700 remixes since 1999, uh, and that is like a thousand years in uh, internet timeline. So it's pretty good. Um, and we have 11 remix albums that came out in 2013, which is crazy. It's crazy that we just managed to do that. So, um, 231 remixes have been posted. To put it in perspective, uh, let's see, do we have any judges? We have a former judge, two former judges. Uh, we get, I don't know, something like two remixes submitted a day, and those are all evaluated manually. So post 231 is pretty crazy. We also had our first ever, ever commercial album. So uh, who likes Mega Man? <laughs> so we're gonna, we're, I'm, we're gonna defer that. Apparently, do it later, right? Awesome site updates, and I actually don't know what's on this next slide. I'll be as surprised as you. Oh, there you go. Daddy Joey Bretzel, there you go. JP. Very cute. So, some of the stuff that we're working on. Sorry, Esther, 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 Esther. Right. Yeah, if you play Nino Guni, Esther. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Some people say something there. Um, so, some of the new albums that we have in the works. Now, uh, Shark is not here at the moment. He's coming. I think he's parking the car at the moment. He's working on Final Fantasy V Part Two. But uh, we also have two, three, nine. We released nine. Oh, okay. nine. Thank you. We had uh, a big Final Fantasy VI project, which I believe we're going to talk about, um, and then lots of lots of Mario, Super Mario 64, Paper Mario, Super Mario RPG, Broom, yeah. Sega Racing. Uh, Shaq Fu. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! I didn't, I didn't know we had a I didn't either until this morning. And also, um, some of the other, some of the other projects, some of the smaller stuff that we've been doing is like genre tagging. With so many remixes. Ah, oh, Steve-O! Hi! Hi! Welcome. Come on up.
I think we were planning to update the forums for so long. We were like going to version four, yeah. of, and then like version five came out. Yeah, and then we <laughs> People so, garbage. Don't so far, just it's not good. Um, not good. Yeah, we're gonna add genre tagging. It's a big demand that a lot of people have for uh, you know how do I get rock remixes? We're finally adding that, but we're doing it in a smart way with tagging and stuff. So nothing's gonna get pigeonholed. It's gonna be really cool. A really great way to discover new music. Oh, over oh, there. Yes. <laughs> Our more civil so. If you guys have money at this point, we hope to liberate you from that money by the end of the video. So, um, as the slide says, buy stuff at the merch table in the back or on the side. I don't know. Yeah, we did make this uh, presentation this morning. So, uh, it's, the merch table's over there. They're still setting stuff up. But um, uh, we have t shirts, we have hoodies, we have a couple of albums actually for sale. They're fully licensed, so we we're able to sell them to you. Um, if you spend five dollars today, you get a free copy of A Taste of OCR. Um, you might have seen me handing them out yesterday on the show floor. Um, it's a nice little sampler CD. Maybe how many how many mixes are on that, Steve? Hmm? Taste of OCR. How many remixes? Um, five. Eighteen. Something like eighteen. Eighteen. So there's like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you want me to talk about taste? Yelling at the top of my lungs here. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's just a little sampler album. It's really cool. Steve will put it together. Um, it's got a picture of, uh, on the CD. The CD art's really nice. It's just a close up of his mouth eating a pancake. No. <laughs> yes, that is the disc. Is, it, is it a pancake or no, is it French it, toast? It's, it's a pancake. Okay. If anybody's ever seen the Chrono Trigger arrangement album, The Brink of Time, how yes. it's just a plate of breakfast, I made pancakes in the shape of the OCR headphones. Covered it in Greek yogurt and syrup and maple syrup and M&Ms yeah. to take the picture, and then I had to eat it for the back cover. Yeah. So it's <laughs> pretty cool. It was it's deliciously cool. painful. So, so, spend five, so, spend, so spend five dollars on t-shirts or hoodies or whatever, and uh, we can give you a free copy of that. Um, if you spend fifteen dollars or more, you can get your uh, choice of a limited edition album. Um, so we have uh, we have Final Fantasy One, Final Fantasy Four, Final Fantasy Six, Final Fantasy Seven. Um, a lot of f yeah. Um, we have Apex 2014, which is a really cool fighting game album with uh, really awesome Smash Brothers remixes, Street Fighter, that kind of stuff. Um, Heroes vs. Villains, which is a really awesome album. Um, what else do we have? I don't know. I think we have a written. We have a whole box. There's a whole box. Heroes versus no, villains. There's a whole box. There's a whole box. All right. Yeah, uh, we're yeah, selling we'll them. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about that. Later. All right. So that's enough for um, shameless promotion. All right, move on. What is with these transitions? <laughs> Look, this is, we didn't even do this at PowerPoint. Yeah, this, this is an open this office. Is open office and press. That's why it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. We make video game music for free. We make PowerPoints with free software. You should, have, you should have seen me this morning trying to use this program. I was like, God, fuck, this is a Friday. We really need you to buy that merch. Yeah, we really. <laughs> <laughs> if you want us to have better PowerPoints, buy our merchandise. Okay, so, so um, one thing we did really cool last year was um, um, Capcom actually contacted us about doing this. This is our first ever commercial album. It's called Forever Lasting Peace, 25 Years of Mega Man. Um, Woo! It's, yeah, so, we're, so we are officially a bunch of sellouts. Um, shout out for that enthusiasm. It seems it's still nobody cares yeah, about nobody Mega cares Man. About, nobody cares about Mega Man. No. I care. Who cares about Mega Man? <laughs> Right here. So, um, it's our first ever commercial album in collaboration with Capcom. It's fully licensed. Everything is above board. Um, Twenty fun tracks from seven games. Um, the first game in each Mega Man series. So, three tracks from Mega Man, three tracks from Mega Man X, three tracks from Mega Man Legends, um, Zero, ZX, Battle Network, um, Battle Network, and Star Force. So, if you are of that generation and you love Battle Network and Star Force, we have you covered. I have a question. I have an answer. What happened to Mega Man Soccer? <laughs> or, 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 or Mega Man uh, Battle, the racing car game. Oh yeah, uh, Battle and Chase. Yeah, Battle and yeah. Chase. Um, I don't know, uh, I, I guess we never got around to covering it, but I, I will say that we do have uh, uh, any uh, soccer or football fans here, World Cup, that kind of stuff? Yeah? So I see like three, couple five. Yeah, sports, right? Um, <laughs> uh, one of our remixers on the, on the site, even Hopstock, he's putting together a little uh, um, a World Cup EP, which is um, remixes from Soccer and football games, not not American football, so no Madden stuff, but um, football. Yeah. Football. Uh, football. Football. football, football, football. And what does this have to do with Mega Man? Uh, uh, nothing. I think there might be a Mega Man soccer mix on it. I might do one. For oh. That. So we'll get some Mega Man soccer. We'll, we'll get you covered on Mega Man soccer. Yeah, thank you. Um, so you can buy this album. Um, 
online for ten dollars uh, uh, digitally on iTunes, Amazon, CD Baby, a whole bunch of other places. It's on Spotify if you want to check it out. Whole album is uh, streaming on SoundCloud for free if you want to try before you buy. Um, and we sell the physicals online for eighteen dollars, but uh, for you guys, um, a Pax East special, uh, we can sell it to you for fifteen dollars. So. Um, the physicals are gorgeous. They have really great artwork by um, RNN, who's a really awesome Mega Man artist. Um, she's really good. So uh, hopefully you guys uh, check this album out, listen to it. I directed it. I have a um, I have a horse in this race because um, we actually make money on this, and I get some some mega money. So, so buy it. <laughs> so buy it. Gets a code yeah. too. Yeah. So, uh, but it's a good way to support the site. You know. Um, uh, the vast majority of our music that we give to you is uh, free, um, and uh, like you know, less than one percent of the music that we give you is actually behind a little, something like a paywall or anything. So, hopefully, uh, you can find it in your hearts to throw a little cash our way. We've asked them for enough money. Keep going. All right, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. No, no, no. We still have. Not every slide <laughs> will be asking. Oh, all right. So this is this is the last said. slide we're gonna ask money for. <laughs> Ah, oh, this feels like a PBS-like pledge drive. <laughs> no, wait, did, did we already go through the other slide for support month? Well, if you, no, we didn't. No, oh, we didn't. great, so we have even more. <laughs> if you give us, if you give us a hundred dollars, we can give you an OC Remix tote bag. <laughs> no, right, it's not an umbrella. How about an umbrella? That's not a thing. All right, actual relevancy to the slide. Yeah. Okay. Overclocked University is an overclocked remixes house band. It consists of staff members, veteran remixers. We go around to conventions and venues and play awesome rock arrangements of video game music. Um, all three of us are in the band. Our bass player is over there at the table. You want to introduce yourself, Andrew? Did you already do that? I'm Andrew. <laughs> That's enough out of you. You're taking up too much mic time, Andrew. Um, Steve-O, as you guys know, this is Amy. Uh, and unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to prepare a, um, a song for you guys today. Well, actually, but Boom. We did. We did. Um, so we did. the song that I was singing in the beginning as everyone was walking in is actually one of our songs. It's also a, a remix on OC Remix by the band called uh, The Hot Freaks. It's a Zelda Wind Waker. I missed Zelda? Yeah. Zelda. Yeah. But uh, we play it live too. So if you come see our shows. Yeah, it's like, really good. So where are you guys where are you guys playing next? Um, uh, next we don't game? know. We're still looking. But in the meantime, we came out with our first EP, the freshman year EP, with six arrangements on it. We have it for sale over there, I think for $8. Uh, we're working on our second EP already uh, with uh, additional songs. The first EP okay. has stuff like Donkey Kong Country, Chrono Trigger, Wave Race 64, Star Fox. Uh, the second one's going to have like Nights in the Dreams and um, Ragnarok Online nice. and, and a couple of other really good stuff. We balance a lot between obscure and well-known. Um, and we have a lot of fun doing it, so we hope to get you guys in the show. And if you want to check out our music, we got it over there for sale. Cool. I think, that, I think we're done with that. Awesome. All right. Alright, Yes, Kickstarter. Right. So, uh, how many people had the chance to listen to Final Fantasy Six Battles in Rome? Alright. 43%? Well, if you, if you didn't check it out, this is, a, this is a free album. Okay, I'm not asking for any more money. <laughs> no yeah, money. No more money. No, 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 This is at uh, ff6.ocremix.org, I believe. Um, and this is, it's a Four CD album, four CDs worth of music. Plus, there's an entire uh, bonus disc worth of music with uh, even more arrangements. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now, so we're not we're not selling this. Uh, again, you can go online and you can you can get it via torrent. You can download the whole thing, but you can get the physical copy if you'd like. And the DVD, which is on the which is on the physical, has stuff like a full translated interview with uh, Nobuo Uematsu, the composer of the, uh, most of the Final Fantasy games, as well as uh, interviews with remixers put together by uh, Jose. Uh, things like, if you're a musician yourself, there are like stems, you can listen to alternate versions of some of the tracks. Like if you know Jake Kaufman, Bert, he did a, uh, like the whole opera in the style of Queen, which is yeah, as sorry. even more amazing than it sounds. Yeah, specifically, it's the opera in the style of Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Because why not? And on the on the bonus DVD, you can actually listen to the entire thing in general MIDI and, and see how he did it. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. But so the story behind this uh, was that we wanted to uh, try kickstarting an album so that we could get um, more live musicians. We had tons of live musicians on this, 
do licensing, do it legit. The orchestra was on this? This is a full orchestra. The National Slovak Symphony Orchestra did Terra's theme. Yeah. Conducted by Chad Sutter. Conducted by Chad Sutter, so absolutely. Legit yep. orchestra. Yeah. Legit. Whoa. As opposed to as opposed to Giga samples. Right. Um, <laughs> Sound fonts. Sound fonts. Right. And uh, you might know Chad Sutter, he actually does uh, Zelda Symphony of the Goddesses. That's his thing. So he did a Terra remix of the live orchestra. So if you have not heard this album, you need to you need to check it out. But the Kickstarter, um, if you were following our site, we had we started this up, and we you know we set it for some goal. I think it was fifteen thousand, and then uh, it mysteriously disappeared uh, one day after uh, after some success. And we had to restart it months later. So without going into too much detail, we actually had to work this out with Square Enix. So this was like Mega Man Twenty Five. This is it's uh, it's not official. We can't say it's official, but it is prop. It's licensed. It's approved. Yeah. Is the word I would use. It's approved. It's pretty cool. It's one of the first times a fan community has got, you know, we, where essentially they took action to take this down, but then we were able to work something out. And I think that's pretty cool. I think we need more of that yeah. with big publishers and developers, less, you know, takedowns yeah. and more collaboration. So I'm we, glad we, it worked out. We had out. to do a lot to make that work, though. Yeah, but it worked out. It's an amazing I mean, role. we had to do a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can work with the men. Steve, we're under NDA, we can't discuss that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got next? What do we got? Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, hi. hi guys. Damn, son, where'd you find this? <laughs> Amy, what happened to your hair? <laughs> oh. I'm going to make a brief announcement. We are ready to go with our merch table right over here. Um, we're going to ask that you line up starting in the go towards the wall and around towards the that door over there and we'll help you out while you can listen to our awesome panel. Yeah. I'll also not the end of the panel, we still have so like way more awesome, awesome stuff. Now we're gonna have we're gonna have the Shaq Fu tournament. This is in celebration of the upcoming Shaq Fu right. sequel. You know how lots of people have gaming fighting tournaments for good games? We do the opposite. We're gonna make you play one of the worst fighting games ever. And you're gonna win stuff doing this. Yeah. We've been practicing this horrible game to play. So, if anybody wants to play Shaq Fu, I'm going to take two people from this side of the room. I'm going to take two people from this side of the room. Andrew, would you go select me? Let me hear you say foo! Foo! Nice. Alright, good. Alright, foo, foo side, you are gonna take that? Let me hear you say foo again. Foo! Yeah, alright. Okay, so you might be asking, like, what the hell does Shaku have to do with OC Remix? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> but, um, you know, I've actually been asking that question for years while we've been doing the Shaku tournament, and um, we finally decided to start putting together a Shaku arrangement album. So, uh, so, so, so it actually is relevant now, so uh, look for that in uh, the coming year or two. Uh, Shaku Remix album, it should be fun. I'm officially shrugging. Yeah. Shark. What? Do you mind getting them prepped to play while I get the, uh, Legitimate running copy of Shaq Fu. Okay. Uh, for backup purposes only. For backup purposes, I own. I own both versions. No, I own three versions of the game: Genesis, Super Nintendo, and Game Gear. Right. As you can see, we're playing today. Genesis. Five dollars. Yes. Well, no, no. He's gonna fight him. Bless you. Alright, Shaq, Shaq, attack. Genesis. 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 While While they're starting up, just real quick, uh, some self-promotion. Um, I have an album over there as well, Identity Sequence, and uh, my wife, Jillian Diversa, has an album, Atlantis Awakening, that just came out. Those are both $10 each, so if you're interested, we have a limited when supply of those, so check them out. <laughs> Play tested through various focus groups. 
Jack wins. <laughs> Let's do this. You guys pick your characters. I'm gonna go grab your prizes. Tribute to the foot sweep. In the battle between Shaq and Foo, the real winner is the audience. <laughs> Play as Shaq! Play as Shaq! No, 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 no. Oh! Ah! Uh, 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 Press start! Press start! Oh, we gotta reset it. Let's reset it. <laughs> Shaq Foo Evo 2015, who's with me? <laughs> Get hyped! For those of you saying pick Shaq, a uh, little known fact, they, Shaq is actually one of the worst characters in this game. Figure <laughs> <laughs> that one out. Also, for those of you who do not know, this game was made by the same people who did Flashback and Out of This World. Yes. This is done by Delphine Software. We're really good Extremely games. gorgeous visuals, extremely terrible oh. gameplay. Mephis shoots a dragon lightning head from across the screen. Mephis is getting a big beating in early on against oh. Set. That old mummy just cannot get it together. Set continuously getting sweeps and Do upper kicks. Get Set's getting oh, up. Set's out of the corner and just Sidekicking him over and over again. The mummy of Chuck Norris constantly doing roundhouses. Memphis has come back. Set is down. Almost down. One more hit. And Set is down. Memphis, with Drano's revenge, has completely destroyed the mummy. No, Drano. Why are you distracting me from my only time on the microphone today, Andrew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing to me? See, now I can't even pay attention to the match. It's just, I hate you so much. I know. All right, Memphis is finally a simple hit on Memphis while sets down to almost half. Oh, we got the Memphis is starred out and moves back very quickly. They're about even now. Memphis gets a couple more hits, and Seth's getting back up into the corner, but keeps doing low kicks in order to keep Memphis at bay. It doesn't help much because he's still pushed back in the corner, comes back after the center. Low kick, low kick, low kick, low kick. More low kicks, Seth's down very low, can still pull it out if he gets, a, gets him back into the corner and starts pummeling him with those kicks again. Oh. anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our set competition. All of our contestants get bumper stickers, and the winner gets a Heroes vs. Villains album. Ooh. Let's check, catch a heart. Let's check. Let's check. Let's in May, you're going to be asked for more money. Okay. So, <laughs> just, just, We're going to give you three reasons, we promise. Yeah, well, I like that. <laughs> no, yeah. All right. Okay, so the OC Remix community. So we're more than just music, okay? Uh, we have very active forums. We have an IRC channel um, on Espernet. Um, we have some game servers and guilds. We have a, a TF2 server that's been running for a couple years, but we play Team Fortress 2. We have our own Minecraft server um, where people have fun play Minecraft. Uh, we have a WoW guild. We um, just formed a Diablo 3 guild. Yeah, there's a Diablo 3 clan that uh, you know a bunch of us like to play. Um, I think the WoW guild is uh, 
it's a horde right now, but I think there's an Alliance one too, um, uh, Disciples of the Mix. Um, so just check the forums for that information. Um, the compos actually are a really fun thing um, for aspiring artists. How many what is a compo? Okay, so a compo is short for composition competition. Um, uh, how many people in here are musicians? And, oh, wow. Uh, cool. Fantastic. Um, how many people here are interested in getting into uh, remixing video game music? Or already remixing video game music? Oh, there's a, there's a few people. Raise your hands high. Yeah, raise them high, yeah. Don't be they shy. Are, yeah, please don't be That's shy. What we're here for. We remix okay. video game music and we're not ashamed. <laughs> Clearly. Okay, so, uh, so um, compos on OCR, they're really fun. Um, we do a whole bunch of them every year. Um, one of them uh, is called the People's Remix Competition, uh, where um, you know, we give you a song, like a track from a video game, and then you have one week to remix it. Let's come up with any kind of remix. Um, you know, everyone submits their entries, and then um, everyone votes on you know which one's the best one, and then the winner gets to pick the next week's song. Um, it's a really great way to uh, hone your skills because you have a little bit of a deadline um, when you're remixing. Um, there's also some really uh, some some bigger ones like the Wiley Castle Remix Gauntlet, which is a really crazy uh, Mega Man uh, remix competition I run, um, where people form teams and they pick robot masters and then they. Um, they mix two songs together, so they pick like, you know, Dust Man and then like Wiley Castle 2, and then um, you know they have to uh, remix both of those songs into one uh, track. So uh, you know you have a whole bunch of different teams competing. Uh, it goes from week to week. It's really cool. There's the Sonic Zone remix competition where um, one person. Will hey, pick Sonic. Hey, Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but, I mean, the, the the whole point of these compos, it's good for people who consume music, and it's good for people who produce music. Yeah. If you're a prospective producer, you can join compos. There's different levels. Yeah. If you're just getting into it, it forces you to learn how to be creative yeah. and know so, how to move maneuver your doll. And if you're a consumer, there's a whole lot of music that comes out of because yeah. I, I mean, how many tracks per week did okay, you get so, for so Wiley? So the last the last Wiley Castle remix competition we had, we had 14 teams competing once yeah. a week. So every week, every Saturday. 14 remixes would come out of Mega Man music. Now they were, you know, they ranged in quality from, you know, uh, passable, from novices, yeah, all the way up to like, you know, people who have been doing it for a really long time. Yeah. So the quality varies, but the thing is, you get a lot of music, and the people who are competing, like the novices and the new guys, um, they're they're honing their craft and learning how to, um, you know, put together a track in a small amount of time. Um, we talked a little bit about the uh, Forever Lasting Peace album, the uh, Mega Man album that we did. A lot of people on that album got into remixing and, and really honed their skills from entering the competitions and um, they, they, they became like amazing. And so it's a really great way to get involved in the community, to hone your skills, um, to grow as an artist, um, to learn how to listen critically to remixes when you're voting for them. And just enjoy the music. And just otherwise. enjoy music. Yep. So if you like Mega Man music, you know, hit up the forums and check out yeah, the yeah. competitions. Cause I was going to say, you couldn't fit all the music from the Wiley Castle remix gone on like four or five discs. Okay. There's a huge at, amount at of the, music. At the end of the competition, because the competition ran nine weeks, 14 tracks per week. Um, with That's a couple, like 140 songs. Yeah, and a couple, a couple weeks, like, not everyone submitted something. So it ended I can't up being imagine. like 120 remixes. It's crazy. You know, so it's really, really awesome. Um, so if you're into uh, that stuff, check out the competition. Oh yeah, we've, we've also got other stuff. We've got. Yeah. Uh, did you have a, you have a slide to talk back? Yeah, we're going right. to talk about that. Well, then I'm just going to mention Overclocked After Dark, the official and official podcast okay. of Overclocked Remix, where all we do is subvert everything that they do. So okay. we so, do have a sense of humor. Yeah. So that's my Facebook profile page. <laughs> my Facebook hey! page. Um, so so uh, we started this thing uh, about half a year ago called OCR Talkback. Um, it's a weekly web show on YouTube. It's basically a Google Hangout on air that um, me and Lion Tamer do, Larry Oji. Um, and we have uh, every, every Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, um, you know, we get on to YouTube and we, uh, talk we, just, yeah, we just talk about stuff. We talk about VGM, we talk about you know, uh, what music we're listening to, new stuff happening in the community. Um, we like to feature different OCR staff members. Um, uh, remixers, um, you know, and community members. When a new album comes out, we'll get you know the people who directed the album to come on and talk about the album a little bit. You know, so a lot of interviews, Q and A. Um, and Q and A is a huge part of it, actually. We, um, you know, we uh, have a hashtag, uh, hashtag OCR Talkback. Um, so you know, if you ever, if you want to check it out, um, just tweet your question. Like, if you have questions for us that we can't answer here at the panel, um, just tweet a question with OCR uh, OCR Talkback. And tune in on, on oh, tune in on. Uh, um, ask Shark whether or not he wears boxers or briefs. What's that? I said ask Shark if he wears boxers or briefs I'm not on Twitter. That. That's um, we're under NDA. We can't discuss that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So other nerdy crap. All right. 
So yeah, it's really fun. Sometimes me and Andrew end up talking about like card games and stuff. It's really stupid. Um, but yeah, check it out. So um, you want to talk about Overclock Records, Andy? Sure. Okay. So in January this year, uh, if you were at Magfest, uh, we announced the launch of Overclock Records, which is the uh, original video game music community record label. So this is a uh, sister site to OC Remix. OC Remix is about game arrangements. OC Records is where you go if you want original soundtracks to anything from indie games to, uh, to bigger titles. We're getting some bigger stuff on there, as well as original music by game composers. So we have stuff by uh, Jimmy Henson, Big Giant Circles. We have stuff by uh, Disaster Piece, if you know him, for example. Uh, Denny Baranowski is going to be on there. Chris Hulsbeck is going to be on there, uh, Turkin, for example. Um, so the way we set this up, it's a non-exclusive label, so we're not you know, taking anybody's rights, and we're giving 80% of the sales to the artists, which is a better cut than pretty much any other record label out there. And the idea is uh, some of the money that we keep just goes back to OC Remakes to provide free music. So we have a SoundCloud. You can listen to all the music on OC Records for free on SoundCloud if you want. And then we also have the albums available for DRM free, lossless, nice and tagged. Usually it's like three, four, five dollars an album, very reasonable. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool. So and that's overclockrecords.com if you want to check that out. We're building it up. If you have music that you want on OC Records, let me know uh, if you're part of the community. Or if you think something should be on there and we should talk to a certain artist or composer, again, let me know. We have a contact form. Yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting stuff. Just to give a quick example, how did you get started in making music, Andy? I mean, you being a professional video game and album producer... I got started on OC Remix. So, this is a good way for people to come on the site, go to Compos, learn how to make music, and then you can be a part of Overclocked Records and make money for what you've learned! Whoa. It's this big cycle! <laughs> yep. Okay, yeah. Do you want to watch a trailer? I, like I want to watch a trailer. Cool. Or, or we can watch them dance with no buo. <laughs> just watch that over and over and over again. No, let's watch the trailer. Let's watch the trailer. Alright, well, now we'll do Q&A after the show. We didn't mention it. We have a brand new album. Yeah, um, yeah, we didn't make a slide. Oh, I didn't get the chance to talk about this in We don't need a slide when we have a trailer that speaks louder than slides. Let's watch the trailer. We're so prepared. We'll just do Shaq and we'll get her. So we were... So this album came about because we, we were so excited to see Michael Bay's version of a beloved franchise. <laughs> what franchise? Is it Madden? Bad Boys oh, 4. Michael Bay's Madden. I might actually watch Michael that. Michael Bay's Madden. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would watch that. Well, yeah, so Super Bowl so the line explode. <laughs> Some Transformers. It's like and NFL Blitz. Great. Uh, <laughs> There we go. Gio, what, what is that saying? <laughs>
that, that trailer was put together by uh, uh, Jose. Uh, Jose is a Bronx Rican, so let's give, him a, let's give him another hand. That's a really awesome thing. Shell Shock came out. Um, I think I think it actually came out like this week or last week, right? Last week. Yeah. yeah so it's brand new. It's available for free. Um, check it out on OC Remix. Um, download the whole thing and listen to it all the time. Well, it's between artists on Dwelling of Duels. Yeah, Dwelling of Duels uh, and uh, K A N G I. Um, so it's a lot of uh, really awesome rock tracks and stuff. So uh, give it a listen give it if you like. Yeah. Turtles. So uh, now we're gonna do Q and A. Uh, if you want to ask us a question, raise your hand. Andrew will come around and grab you. Bring you over here. Anybody ask a question? Ask whatever you want. I will grab you. Or, or grab people can like collect you here. Yeah, but I, I trust Andrew more with people okay. than, than people with then, themselves. Than, than people with themselves. Yes. All right, whatever. Now, I mean, after they watch that amazing trailer, I don't know what they're gonna do. So. All right. Uh, Q and A. No, that was completely unintentional. No, no, that was that was that, it was not the intent, but yes, it does look like a Mario. Yes, it movie. does. Yeah. Alright. Also looks like a Metroid. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Everybody who wants to ask a question, just line up over yeah, here. Just line up. <laughs> I told you, didn't I tell I you? Don't, you don't tell me anything! Hey, hey, look at this. There's a microphone right here. Amazing. Line up at the mic. What? Like I didn't even know we had a wireless mic. mic. I felt tethered forever. Oh, there's another one! Wow. Okay, so. Uh, 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 Alright, team, team Rocket. Uh, yeah. Team Plasma? Uh, Shot. No, he's Rocket. He's. Whatever, go ahead. Um, Bad brother. So I was. Uh, I was wondering. The judging panel is understandably uh, backed up for quite a while in OCR, and I yes. always find that the most helpful feedback is from the judges. Uh -huh. But often that, you know, is a long wait. I was wondering if there's any way. Um, if there's any way you're working on for getting the community more engaged in the uh, uh, work in progress forums? Uh, well, we yes, there are uh, lots of plans for the workshop. Um, what we have right now in the workshop, we have um, we call them workshop moderators, uh, which are people we test for judge um, and uh, basically they're the re no, they're not the rejects. They fall, short. They, they fall a little bit short of um, really being able to zero in heavily on the stuff that we look for, but they still provide very valuable feedback, so um, we, we put them to work at the workshop in order to provide feedback to people uh, who are looking for some good feedback. So um, the way that the workshop works is, you know, you post something up that you want, you know, some evaluation on, people in the community will contribute evaluations and reviews and stuff, um, but, you know, if you mark something for mod review in the, in the forums, um, a uh, workshop moderator will come and look at it and, and try to give you a little bit more detailed feedback, more in line with what we're looking for in terms of posting on the site. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Let's go to this side. Uh, I've been uh, lurking on OC Remix for almost a decade now, and I'm still concerned that we have not compiled a OC Remix bikini calendar. Um, any chance that we'll get Larry OG? Um, perhaps uh, Mr. Bronx Freak in there as well. He looked uh, nice and oiled. We're, we're under NDA, we can't discuss that. <laughs> Thank you. We'll take it into consideration for next year's April Fool's joke. The key. Not fundraiser. Let's go. Oh, fundraiser. You want, will you want us to kick start the bikini calendar? <laughs> let's, let's go to this side. Um, I just was wondering what kind of software you guys use for working on remixes, essentially, and where you started with that. Okay, sure. It's different for everyone, and I can just kind of quickly go down the line. Um, I use Logic, uh, Logic Studio, on the Mac platform. It's pretty sweet. I started with GarageBand, which is like a really easy version of Logic, and once I felt comfortable with that, I upgraded to like a pro type thing, where I have a lot more tools. So, so sorry, uh, you just load in a song and then start modifying it essentially? No, 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 I mean, well, it depends on how it works. Like, I'll do it by ear, um, you know, I'll do everything live. Um, so, I mean, it really depends, but like, I mean, I, like the software I use is logic. So, I mean, I, like, every remixer has their own workflow and they do their own different thing. So, you'll get infinite answers. So, but maybe we can, we'll just go quick down the line what we all kind of do, and then you can get like an idea. Uh, I use FL Studio, I think we all use it. Studio on this on this part, which is PC only, but they're coming out with the Mac version. Personally, I used to start with importing like a MIDI file, uh, which you, you know from like BG Music or something. But um, sometimes that can be limiting because you you stick too much to the original. So for the last eight years or so, I you know I listen to the song and then I just I write it out and I play it out. So uh, and it's all FL Studio. Yeah, I uh, I use FL Studio as well, um, not to the extent like not to the level that 
uh, Andy uses at the studio because he's a crazy electronic musician. But um, uh, yeah, I also I, I do everything by ear. I do everything by ear, and I've always done it that way. Uh, I'll listen to a song like Ice Cap Zone or something, and I'll say, okay, what are the chords? What's the melody? And I'll figure it all out. You know, listening to it, you know, major, minor, and all that stuff. And then I'll I'll just start writing parts based around the chords and the melody and everything, using those as a structure. Uh, and that's that's how I've, I've I've done everything for you know as long as I've been writing music, which has been a pretty long time. Most of it in my end will come from serious study of the music and the originals. The serious study of music in general, a lot of your um, know-how can come from that if you know exactly how a song is structured, and how it works, and why it works. Um, but mostly the same. So I think I think my advice would be learn some music theory a little bit if you don't know any, um, just a little bit. You don't have to start you know, studying counterpoint and stuff, but uh, it, it helps. Just, just know it without knowing yeah. theory. I'm gonna go the opposite of that. Me all the way over here in the corner. I am the only one that uses Reaper basically, and I play everything on guitar first, jam it out by ear, and then record it. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Yeah. So, say. Just a quick question. Can Amy sing us another song? We were just been told we only got four minutes. <laughs> I don't know if we have time. I would love to hear it, but um, we would love to. We would love to hear it. For the next OCU album, Amy will be singing songs on that. Yeah. So look out for that later this year. Sorry, ma'am. All right. Uh, this side. I love OCU remix and usually supported by buying merchandise albums, etc. Uh -huh. I haven't been able to find a XXL sweatshirt for the past year and a half. How yeah. can I get one? <laughs> We are. We actually just put in a massive order for shirts and hoodies and stuff. Um, we've been kind of running low on them. Uh, our our T-shirt and like apparel process is very like manual right now. Um, it's a lot of like order the shirts, then go to DJ Pretzel's house and pick them up, <laughs> <laughs> and then drop them off at East Arland. So that's how it kind of works right now. But yeah, like literally days ago. We I'm, I'm I'm not even I'm not even making a joke. That's literally the process. It's like going to DJ Russell's house and doing stuff. Yeah. Um, but we just brought in um, one of our community members, um, uh, Jarrell Jones, who used to write a lot of Sonic Minis and stuff. Um, he's uh, he joined the uh, uh, staff as a merchandise coordinator. So he's um, kind of like streamlining our process a little bit more. Um, so we should be we're, <laughs> We hate not having stuff for people to buy, <laughs> so, yeah. but we want. We're, we're, we'll we'll try to get uh, some. You said double XL. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll we try made an order days ago, so there should be something soon. Like I'll just check the site probably in like a week or. Two. Yeah. Oh, okay. East Starland. East Starland. But yeah, we'll have it. Cool. Two minutes. What's up? Fun little question. Uh huh. How about music videos for once? I have you ever videos. thought of that? In um, the world. We've done like uh, for Voices of the Livestream project. Uh, we did have like a community contest where we had some people make music videos and some of the tracks, and those turned out really sweet. We should probably do that more. Yeah, and there were accomplished yeah. before of doing like making music videos. So yeah, I love like the Alcalas things, like the God, I forget the names. Um, can you say that again, please? I'm not sure. I know. I I just saw like on your channel like had like Acapellas. Oh, oh, that! <laughs> oh, now you know! Okay, so, right, right, like, right, so the, the acapellas that we just did, that was an April Fool's joke. Of course it was. Yeah, we called well, it Rough and Rough. I mean, I mean, I think yeah, I was positive, it was really positive, so... And I mean, our request, How a Ghost Trick Ending, that was an amazing <laughs> song. Yeah. And my favorite song was probably uh, the Castlevania 2 thing. Yeah. Mm. Sure. Yeah, Ghost, yeah, so, Ghost, I, mean, I, I love Ghost Trick. Ghost Trick has awesome music. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Right, so let, let me. God, it has everything in there. Let me make a quick announcement. We're gonna move the merch table outside. Um, so um, if you want merch, we're gonna move it out because we have like half a minute left. Right. So, uh, so we'll take one last we'll take this one last question. Hold on, guys. Um, the site's 15 years old now, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, oh, yes. Geez, what, really. How much bandwidth are you guys running through? Per month now. How much bandwidth? Yeah, a lot. A lot. <laughs> are we talking like many terabytes? Are we, we're not yeah. on the petabyte yet? Yeah. Not a bit, no. many terabytes. No, we're on the terabyte level. We, we do a lot of bandwidth. Yeah. So. And, and we provide everything for free. So we Stop make, asking for money! No, give us more money. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys thank for you. Uh, So we're going to be outside if you have more questions. We'll be hanging out for a little bit. Um, yeah. And we're going to set up the merch table outside. Uh, thanks for coming, everyone. Thank you.